Now whenever it makes sense, TypeScript tries to be as safe as possible for your JavaScript code. However, this does mean that sometimes it results in slight annoyances, where TypeScript will complain when you think that it shouldn't. One such example is when you are iterating over the keys of an object, and TypeScript will complain in this case, and we will look at why it's doing that, and a simple workaround that you can use if you still want to iterate over the object keys. So let's take a look. We start off with an empty JavaScript file and within this file, we declare the kind of an object that we are dealing with. We are dealing with an object called prizes that will have two members called first and second, both of type string. Now as an example of iterating over the keys of this object, we have this utility function called log prizes that takes an object of type prizes and for each of the keys in prizes, logs out the key and then also logs out the value by using an index lookup using the key into the prizes object. And just for good measure, because both of the properties of the prizes object are supposed to be of type string, that is first is the string and second is the string, uses the two uppercase method to log the uppercase value. And of course, if we create a prizes object with just these two member, which is first of string and second of string, and call the log prizes method, it's going to work perfectly as expected. Now let's take the same code and move it into a TypeScript file. Of course, I don't need to use JS doc documentation anymore. I can actually use TypeScript syntax for my type annotations. For example, creating the type prizes as well as annotating the log prizes parameter. But beyond that, you can see that we are now getting an error in our TypeScript code when we try to index the prizes object with the key loop variable. Now, if you hover over the error, you can see that the error message is that the expression of type string cannot be used to index prizes. Now, this particular type string is what TypeScript has inferred for the key variable in the loop, and we can see that when we hover over it within our IDE. Now, this wouldn't be an issue if TypeScript inferred the type of key to be key of prizes, that is, the string union first and second. However, TypeScript infers string, and there's a good reason for that. Because TypeScript is structurally typed, it's not guaranteed that the prizes object will only contain the keys that are found within the prizes type. Let's look at an example. We create this variable bad with three members. There's a third member called bronze, which is for some reason of type number. Now, when you invoke the log prizes with this particular object, TypeScript will not complain because as far as TypeScript is concerned, bad still contains the first and the second member which is required by prizes. However, this additional member of type number will result in a runtime exception when we try to do two uppercase because two uppercase is not something that exists on number. This is why TypeScript is inferring key to be of type string and preventing you from accessing it without being really, really sure. Now, if you are sure that you or someone else within your code base is not going to do something stupid like this, we can get rid of this code and then within our loop, instead of declaring it within the loop, we can declare the variable before the loop with the explicit type that we expect it to be, which in our case is key of prizes. And now the error will go away and TypeScript will assume that you know what you're doing and key will always be key of prizes and allows you to access prizes with this particular key without any issues. And that's all for this lesson. Smash that like and subscribe. And I will see you with a new lesson next time. Take care. Bye-bye.